Great Smoky Mountains National Park contains one of the largest collections of wild trout streams in the eastern United States. These streams have robust fish populations, and some streams can even exceed 3,000 trout per mile. All of the fish are wild, and most are less than 12 inches long. Most trout will average 6 to 9 inches. Trout in the Smokies are eager to rise to dry flies about nine months out of the year. Add stunning scenery and abundant wildlife and you're sure to have memorable days on the water. It's not uncommon to see black bear, white-tailed deer, or even wild turkeys along the stream. is the time of year when larger brown trout come out of hiding and may be seen cruising the tailouts of pools as they feed and look for a mate to spawn. Knowledgeable locals will consider a wild brown trout in these streams as large if it's about a measured 15 inches, but a few will even exceed 24 inches long. Hooking these fish is incredibly difficult. The water is shallow and crystal clear. These wise old brown trout almost seem to have ESP and sometimes disappear before you can even make a cast. Many anglers think of big streamers when they want to hook a big brown trout, but they don't work well under these conditions. Streamers work best in the Smokies when the water is high and has some color. Smaller nymphs will work much better in the fall when the water is shallow and clear. By mid to late October, you should watch for large browns and shallow riffles and runs. Some fish may remain in deep pools, but most will move to the shallow water before they spawn. These are ideal locations for fish to feed on blueing olives and small caddis, the primary hatches in the Smokies in the fall. I saw this brown trout holding in a riffle between two boulders. He ate a number 18 copper john that I'd tied about 18 inches underneath a number 16 elk hair caddis. <laughs> Most people think a trout this size only sits in big deep pools. Notice I'm not in water more than knee deep the entire time I'm hooked up with this fish. It's always exciting to catch a beautiful wild trout like this. Here I've spotted a large fish cruising back and forth across the tail of a long pool. I could see the fish moving to intercept small nymphs in the current and even got a little nervous when it rose to the surface once. The fish ate my number 16 pheasant tail nymph, and I was lucky it had plenty of space to run without anything for him to wrap me up in. The fish was very strong and made several long runs before I finally got him up close to land him. I've caught some trout larger than this one, but I'll never forget catching this fish in the Smokies after I spotted it and stalked it. Now that's what we came for. Look at that beautiful thing. Brown trout just don't get any prettier than this one. Hold on. For R&R &R Fly Fishing, this is Ian and Charity Rudder. We'll see you on the river.